And a lot of these seniors are not tech savvy. I repeat, do not have a seminar for seniors in a real estate office. Okay. Getting them to sign paperwork can be a Getting them to nightmare. sign. So welcome to Let's Talk Real Estate, everyone. Today we have Renee Stoddard, who is with Keller Williams Suburban Realty. And we're gonna be talking about, you wanna introduce yourself and say it? Absolutely, everybody. Again, my name is Renee Stoddard. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Suburban Realty, and I have an SRES designation. And what it stands for is Senior Real Estate Specialist. It is not just for seniors, but it's also for older adults planning for a phase of change in life. Cool. Mm -hmm. So SRES, what does that even stand for? It stands for Senior Real Estate Specialist. It is important to work in this capacity because this is a very, very important field. The senior market is over 65% in the nation. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. It's a whole like market. senior citizens. Senior citizens are sixty-five percent. Yes, and as a realtor, there are different seniors that of that are in different capacities. Some of them need assistant living. Some of them want to just age in place. Some of them are in crisis care, and we have to not only work with the seniors, but we are also trained to work with the adult children of seniors. Okay. So that we can make the transition uh, a lot better. So I'm thinking back to a few of my deals where it was senior citizens, and a lot of times it's at that point in life where you start off as, as a child and the parent's taking care of you, but sooner or later the parent ends up being the one needing to be taken care of. Exactly. So is that what you're also being trained for? That is exactly it. We have different levels. We have the... GI generation where those seniors are like 96, that's about 1% in the nation. And then we have the silent generation that comes from the industrial style. And those are the seniors that are probably between 80, uh, 80 and 85. But then you have the baby boomers. Baby boomers is really the largest market mm -hmm. right now. And then you have the Millennials, the Generation X, and that is called the Sandwich Generation. Okay, I know um, it's crazy. What the Generation X? No, the millen. Uh, yeah, the Generation X is the Sandwich Generation, and why they call it that is because it is an adult parent of the children, mm -hmm. and then taking care of the elderly. Wow. So they're like in in between, and so that they're dealing with both. They're dealing with both, and so that's what makes it a little harder. You know, seniors move sometimes because they have loss of family members. Some of them move in to, to babysit the grandchildren. Some of them are just widowed and separated, but there are a lot of different needs, but the adult children are key components in helping to make the transition smooth for seniors. So what are the biggest issues you find? What's the top three issues you find when working with senior citizens? Sorry. Uh, yeah, with senior citizens compared to like a younger generation. Okay, well, senior citizens have a whole different characteristics. Uh, for instance, seniors are more loyal. They're more conforming. They are very prudent and they listen to instructions they read emails, and you just have to be absolutely more traditional. When you talk to a senior, even your dress makes a difference. It's just the mindset that they have. But whereas if you're working with a millennial or someone younger, they're a little bit more skeptical. They'll, they'll look up their own uh, listings or homes on, on Zillow or wherever. They're just more tech savvy. 
whereas they will question you and they will have more open, you know, relationships in terms of what they want to do. The boomers, they're more explorative. There's some that they call the forever young generation because they want to, you know, hey, I want to have a million dollars when I retire. I want to live by the lake or by the beach, a nice community where we can hang out together and where we can play bridge or tennis. And then there's the others that need that special care. So you have empty nesters. That's one of the platforms. Mm -hmm. Then you have those that need assistant living. They may be in an early stage of dementia, and that's where you really need to work with the children, the adult children. And then you have the older adult community that do have dementia or Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm. and so they need that special care. And then there are those that are just in crisis situations where they just have to move. They're poor, there's no one taking care of the house. I'm dealing with a few of those. <clears throat> it's really, really rough because every situation has been wildly different. Yes. And oftentimes you're dealing with very tight timelines. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't, you have to use U and O's, you have to use all these things to keep them in their home as long as possible before moving them to the next place. And you have to have that next place. Yes. And even before the next place, mm -hmm. you have to prepare because you have to declutter. Mm -hmm. You have to downsize, and that's yeah. a process. I know. I'm especially no. Well, I'm noticing a lot of times with my sellers, there's always that emotional connection. <laughs> but then with the people who've been there 30, 40 years, and then you're trying to, in two months, go from being, yes, this is where you're going to die, to, no, this is not. This, this is a stepping stone to your next uh, place. Yes. And I've had wild emotions come out. Absolutely. Like the day we were putting this one person's house on, she called me and was like, I think you're trying to give the house away. Yeah. And I was like, no, you're just really, really sad. It's unfortunate. And like, I ended up getting her like 75 over. But like, Absolutely. And, and one other thing is even but it's put emotion. In, even put in a for sale sign in the grass is emotional mm -hmm. because it gives them the memory that their past, their life is over. And, and and as I mentioned before, they need to understand how to downsize mm -hmm. because they're never going to want to give away all of their things that they've saved all their lives. Yeah. So there's some things you must keep. There's some things you have to go with. Mm -hmm. It's a process and you have to be gentle with them. Yeah. Relationship is key so that they can have a trust with you. Okay. Mm hmm so I have a question. Sure. So what are some of the factors that you really need to think about when helping a senior citizen sell their home and also to buy the next one? Sometimes they're moving into assisted living, so that's not really the same thing. But exactly. you know what I mean. Well, I would say that there are some seniors that move into the home of the children, and that is the trend of multi-generational homes, where, as I mentioned before, the adults, children have their own family but they also have their parents and they can come and babysit mm -hmm. they can come and, and it can also help the children of the uh, seniors to buy a bigger house mm -hmm. it could be more ex you can have better uh, better space it can it can have pros and cons to it and then there are other factors that uh, where a senior may lose a, a family member their spouse they're all alone, so we have to be gentle. How do we make that transition for them? Mm -hmm. We just can't do a regular real estate transaction with seniors that's been married for 60 years and 70 years. Mm -hmm. So training is very important on how we establish a trust and a relationship with them. Also, a lot of seniors, uh, well, I would just say 5%. Of seniors they never married but they're just getting older and it's not the same anymore so all of these factors entail why we need to help and a lot of these seniors are not tech savvy so <laughs> they you know <laughs> yeah I've, I've been counting <laughs> you know I remember my mother would call me when she you know as yeah. a senior and she would say Renee how do I send an email and I'm like okay how do I explain yeah, it? Go and 
click this. And just say, click, click go. Well, where is that? Yeah. But so the point is... Getting them to sign paperwork can be a Getting them to nightmare. sign paperwork. Just the whole thing. And, and unfortunately, there's some realtors, not bad realtors, but realtors that are not trained in it that is all about the transaction. But you have to have a great deal of... Um, well, if you don't have the train, well, if you don't have the training, mm -hmm. a new realtor will just not work with a senior citizen because they don't know. Oh, I'm gonna have to drive over and get this signed. I need to build that into my day. Yes. yes. Or it's even an option is to print it off and have it signed. Yes. yes. They just won't think about it. Yes, and you know that docu sign is difficult for them to understand mm -hmm. electronic email. So you have to have a great deal of patience. You have to have a great deal of detailed organization. You have to have a whole lot of, um, of material available for them because they won't necessarily get it online. Yeah. They like to look at email different generations. I would say the boomers, but as you get older, mm -hmm. it becomes a lot more complicated. Yeah. So how does one market to senior citizens? Is it a different approach? Is it like... We've already talked about that. They're sometimes they're not tech savvy, so you can't be doing it that way. So is it more old school? Well, I would say a lot of seniors, when they receive mail, that's very important. They don't mind receiving the postcards with your picture on it and, you know, expressing it. But a good way to market would be newsletters. Another way um, that an SRE, a SRES agent can help market would be seminars. Seminars. Okay. Go to the library. Do not have, I repeat, do not have a seminar for seniors in a real estate office. Okay. No. Okay? Because you will get, you will not, it, it will be very complicated. But there are different topics about estate planning where you'll, you know, we work with a team. We work with elder attorneys. We work with a transition team. So the seminars could to, could um, absolutely cover that. As I mentioned before, there's a difference between downsizing and decluttering. Mm -hmm. That's a seminar. Yeah. So seminars are key. Seminars are something that will help them bring in a health official, bring in someone from a, a senior facility just to promote what it is that they have. They promote independent living. Seminars like that would be very beneficial in marketing to seniors. Cool. Um, I guess one of my last questions is how, what was the training that went into this for you to learn all this? Well, I believe um, it, it's the training is from the uh, National Association of Realtors and whatever state you're in, you can go ahead and apply for that. And it will be an online training course. It has 12 modules and it covers even Medicaid, Medicare, it covers taxes, it covers so many things that seniors will have to face and uh, we will be trained to help them to understand. And it's an online course and once you finish the online course, there's a national exam. Oh. And you have to pass that exam by 75%. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> so let me ask this question. Um, I always ask this question. Okay. What is a question you wish I had asked, and how would you have answered it? Well, I would have wished you asked me, Fernay, why did you become a senior real estate specialist okay. now? After how many years as a real estate agent? Why now? Okay, go for it. And my question, my answer would be because my I've had several seniors that I have worked with in the past and also I'm a former pastor's wife in, in church I'm approached by many seniors I give a lot of seniors a lot of care they have a lot of wisdom so I have a sense of obligation and a passion mm. and empathy and compassion to work with them to help them wonderful oh. well thank you for coming on today thank you for right. having me well have a great day you too Thank you.